What's up, nerds? We're your hosts. I am Chad. And I am Jake. This is our weekly podcast where we explore the world of nerd from TV, movies, games, comics, news, and books. We will give you our opinions, theories, and oftentimes spoilers. We will also have friends and experts as guests on the show to elaborate further on those topics. But be prepared. We like to have a few drinks, so buckle up. If you want to support our show, like, share, and subscribe wherever you enjoy your podcasts. You can also become a premium subscriber over at buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. So let's get into it. This is the All Things Nerd Podcast. Welcome, nerds, to the All Things Nerd podcast, your weekly dive into all things nerd. Chad, I hope you had a good week. And with that, let's jump right into our first topic. But first, cheers. Cheers. All right. That was delicious. Um, Delicious. Before we get into our first topic this week, actually... Uh, you and I have started, uh, a new thing just in the past week. Um, so this is our second time doing it is obviously we like to drink on this show. So as we get ready, as we get our buzz up so that we feel podcast ready, uh, we normally just talk and bullshit about random stuff that might not make it into the show, things like that. We started recording those segments uh, over on our Buy Me a Coffee, uh, which is buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. Uh, if you wanted to become a premium subscriber, you can now watch our pregame, I guess, pre-show. Let's call the it only a pre-show. Dif- yeah. yeah. The only difference is now is before we were just talking about dumb shit like our life and whatever and things yeah. we don't care about. So dumb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now we've decided to kind of focus in on certain topics mm-hmm. or those pre-games just to make it more nerdy and more interesting for the people that do decide to go to our buy me a coffee. Yeah. And at any level that you subscribe at, you get access to these videos um, as well as fully unedited uh, interviews from our previous guests and stuff like that. Last week we talked about the Loch Ness monster this week. Uh, we talked about mermaids. Um, they're not all going to be cryptozoology esque topics, um, but it seemed like a good way to kind of start. Yeah. Um, we're we're dipping our toes in the water with this, and I think we are really enjoying it. But we'll see how you feel about it. Yeah, let us know. I I've had a lot of fun with these couple of conversations yes. that we've yes. had so far. I mean, this is how it started, is we just started talking about, I think it was Dragons that we didn't record. Yeah, I want to yeah. reapproach that one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and we just had so much fun doing it that we were like, we should have recorded that conversation that's pretty nerdy. And then we were like, okay, let's try doing this organically. So we, it, the fun part is, is that we're not following a script. We're not talking to our audience. We're just talking <clears throat> to each other and getting our buzz on while we do it about these kind of off the cuff uh topics topics yeah 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 it, they t- today's it's been was fun. really fun yeah yeah they've been fun <clears throat> so one last time uh if you want to hear those uh conversations or watch us um literally today's conversation ended because i had to go to the bathroom and we're like well that we've been talking long enough we can just end it um that's how unscripted they are (laughs) um but head over to buymeacoffee.com slash all things nerd i'm stoked for to have more of these conversations and put them out um and then one last thing before we dive into X-Men 97, uh, issue number two from the actual comics, is it is now June. So I just wanted to say happy Pride Month to all of our 
listeners and fans that are members of the <laughs> LGBTQIA plus community. Um, we are here for you. We see you. We love you. Um, yeah. Happy Pride, right. everyone. Yeah. Okay. X-Men 97, the comic companion uh, to the Disney Plus show released by Marvel Comics, issue number two. Spoiler alert. But also shout out to Granite City Comics out here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Um, It's a really cool comic shop. That's where we picked up this comic. Yep. And your new Funko. And my new Funko. Uh, If you're watching us on YouTube, it's one of the the comic cover editions. Um, But it's of Moon Knight. So I'm pretty stoked on that. They had a couple other ones. I want to get more. But I'm kind of running out of wall space in this office. (laughs) My office is still a work in progress at the new house. It's coming together, though. (laughs) Uh, I don't see any moving boxes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> There's one. There's one. Like, uh, you can't see it. So it's directly behind you. So Yeah. <laughs> and there's yeah. stuff on the wall this time. A little bit. A little bit. Next <laughs> week, hopefully, <clears throat> this will be done and be looking pretty and I'll have all my lights up and all that fun stuff. But we're getting Until there. Until then. Until then. So this... Uh, I mean, this comic run, it's going to be, I'm assuming it'll be a, a short one-off series unless the next volume takes place in between season one and season two of the animated uh, series. Mm-hmm. But, you know, this is, it picks up almost right after the the first issue. We do... See, instead of just sad Wolverine, he gets a little bit more upset knowing that Jean is pregnant with Scott's baby. Um, and he's like, I need air. I'm going to get out of here. He takes his really cool Jeep with no doors, drives away. Uh, Storm is like, he looks sad. I'm going to go keep him company. And follows him to a bar. Gives oh. him the Gluck Gluck 3000. Uh, that's only in an alternate future. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> where Push your glasses up. Gene, Push your glasses Gene up. Gene and Scott both die. Uh, and Charles Xavier never be... Whatever. It's from the original animated series. Come on. Uh, <laughs> but they start to uh, bring out Sinister's plan. He even... Minute... Minute... Strong, strong, mentions uh, that his plan is coming together because now there is uh, a baby growing in Jean Grey's womb that he is uh, responsible for helping create so that he can carry out his sinister plan. I mean... It's a quick and easy read. I mean, it, it is a comic, so it's only about 30 pages. Yep, we do see uh, Sabretooth, but also Morph as Sabretooth to try and break up the fight. Um, it's, it's good, because, you know, the X-Men are kind of scattered in multiple different locations, Uh, So we see uh, a handful of different uh, villains trying to attack them on different fronts, which which is fun. Um, It does end on a bit of a cliffhanger, which will lead into issue number three, uh, where I thought it was... I thought it was Boom Boom, Um, but it is... Is it Serena Blaze? Um, something Blaze uh, is attacking Jubilee, Bishop, Gambit, and Rogue 
as they're coming back from Dazzler's concert. And Rogue tries to take Blaze's power. Mm -hmm. Literally. Yeah, and that's kind of where it ends. And if you look at the the cover art for issue three, that's where it picks up, too. You have that one handy? Heck yeah. See, I thought it was... This character looks a lot like Boom Boom, but it I guess it's not unless I'm I'm trying to find the name in here. Um uh, be a f- and they just haven't said it yet. <laughs> but I'm also work I'm also working backwards. Yeah. So I wanted to get to that page you were talking about and then you're <laughs> like, What's her name? And I'm like, Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so. because there's like three different fights slash stories well, then they don't even show her they don't call her by name anymore do they call her by name in the comic yeah she calls yeah. herself by name uh shortly after the the blackbird crashes um but she also has like electromagnetic powers kind of like magneto but it looks different you finding it not finding the name <laughs> I see her she like says like you know um uh I'm tapped into the earth's electromagnetic field there's no limit to what I can pull off <laughs> uh, it's it's a, uh, probably a handful of pages before that oh it's uh, a handful of something because like she's introduced and then it cuts over to uh, oh here we go yeah Name's Sienna Blaze. Sienna Blaze, not Serena Blaze. Sienna. I thought that was Boom Boom, uh, based on the artwork, at least. Oh, I like having this like handy while we're talking about it. This, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, they even decaked Rogue in the comic, too. Oh, my goodness. That's a bummer. Lack of a bummer. <laughs> Lack of a bum. Er. Anyways, sorry. Oh. It's really good. It's fun. There's, I love that. That so, I don't know how many of our listeners are actual like comic book readers, but I love the advertisements in these. They're so fun. Yeah. There's one for Blade in here, which is cool. There's one for Venom, like a, a comic coming out. Uh, there's uh, one for like a multi. There's one for Star Wars. Yeah, because 25 <laughs> years since the Phantom Menace came out uh, yeah. this past month, um, and then at the the beginning also, uh, you know, it also gives you uh, alerts. Yeah, I'm so stoked for the Blade MCU project also, but um, and it's a it's a cool way. Uh, you know, if there are if there's a storyline that crosses over different uh, like properties, because there's an entire like vampire thing that goes uh, from Spider-Man to uh, Venom and then to uh, the Strange Academy stories. Did you see this? It's literally the last page. For... It's what if, and it's what if Venom was the Sorcerer Supreme. And it's literally Venom wearing... Oh, I did not kit. actually notice That's that. fucking sick, dude. And then there's the picture for the next comic, which we just showed you as well. So. Yeah. That's cool. And this might be a, a little bit of a, a hint or, or tease um, for... Uh, a, a potential upcoming guest is we're, we're big fans of physical media as well. You know, having the physical comics, um, that's new to me because I've always loved audiobooks, ebooks, stuff like that. I do have a handful of books, but you were a big comic collector. You've lost, unfortunately, in your lifetime two major collections, um, and you're starting to rebuild it. Um, Little, and, and I'm starting to build it for the first time. Um, 
What did you say? And I'm starting to build my oh, build my for collection for the yeah. first time. Um, but like I collect vinyl um, and stuff like that, and clearly art <laughs> uh, and not fine art, but art that I enjoy. Um, if anyone's curious how I lost two giant comic book collections, uh, one was in a house fire, senior year high, senior year of high school, my house burned down. Uh, yeah, so and sad. second one was uh, they were in boxes in the trunk of my car in West St. Paul. Fuck West St. Paul. <laughs> and my car got my car got stolen. And they took all the co- when when we found the car, uh, they were all gone. So this is that's my why, third... that's why they took the car. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is my third time attempting to collect comics again. So you have fire insurance, right? Everybody, leave kidding. me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you you have fire insurance for when things get hot and spicy. <laughs> yes, we have ins- we have insurance. We, okay. I see the layup you did there, and I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Speaking of hot and spicy. <laughs> Speaking of hot and spicy, we're gonna talk about our number one title sponsor which is Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. It's a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes on practically anything. Listen up, we'll tell you more about it. Hey, you nerds. Do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, our good friends over at Crybaby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods, adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. All right, friends, it is time for Trivial Nerd Suit. This week's question is for Chad, and it is provided by yours truly, Jock. Um, <laughs> if you would like to submit a question to try to stump one of us, please reach out to the other. Uh, to please reach out to us on our website over at www.allthingsnerdpod.com and use our contact form. Just mention who the question is. Or also, if you are able to stump one or both of us, uh, there will be a prize. So um, we're working out the details on exactly what the prizes will be. And that's not <laughs> step one. you heard that? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and the those emails go to a third party. Uh, yeah. Just so you all know, uh, we won't be cheating on those. Yeah. So. All right, Chadley, are you ready? Oh, yes, I suppose okay. I am. So I'm going to send it. I'm going to read it to you. And then if you need a hint, let me know. Okay? Okay. All right, ready? Here we go. Bam, sent. Let me know when you got it, and I'll read it. Got it. Okay. Which bounty hunter in The Empire Strikes Back is wearing an old Doctor Who costume? Oh, shit, bud. I didn't know that that was a fucking thing. When I read that, I was like, oh, shit. And there's a picture of it, like, online. And I was like, holy fucking shit. It totally is. So that's in, fun. In The Empire Strikes Back, I can only think of the name of two of the bounty hunters, even though there's, like, four. Okay. So I I do need that hint. It's an alien, not a robot. Uh, Bosk, then, right? Is it Bosk? It is Bosk. Hell yeah! That's a Doctor Who. That's a Doctor Who. Yeah, it's good. Wow, I I haven't really watched Doctor Who. I've seen like clips of it. I want to, especially the David Tennant seasons. But I did not know that must be. Like, I didn't either. That's crazy. Obviously, I, that's that, the original like Doctor Who, like from the sixties and seventies. Yeah, because Empire. And that blows but. my mind that you got that. That's crazy because I was like, this seems really hard. I did, I, 
I have to go. I have to go harder on your two, Star Wars questions. Two, two of the four. There might only be three bounty hunters, but there's obviously Boba. There's Bosk, and then there's a, a droid of some sort. It's yeah. K one. Damn. Maybe my hint was too much, but whatever. I I'm I am impressed with your nerd knowledge, specifically in the Star Wars realm. Good job, dude. I'm because I did not press that. There's I no way I would have got right that. because I didn't realize that was a Doctor Who thing. I just was lucky enough that I knew that bounty hunter's name. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Good job, Hell dude. Yeah. Seriously, that's crazy. That, that might be the one that I'm most proud of getting right uh, <laughs> since we've started this segment. Uh, I think my the ice ice man was luck. probably the one I was most proud of. Yeah, that was because that was tough because I. My brain was like, Gambit, 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 Gambit. And I was like, does he have a southern accent? And you were like, no. And I was like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, well, good job, dude. Fuck yeah. All right, I'm going to close this out. And uh... I got, like, worked up over that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I mean. Could be that we took a shot before we did the trivia. That, what? that might be why I'm. <laughs> well outside of that i mean there is some nerd news uh we can kind of just kind of riff it right now because we're still a little butthurt about the uh we don't want to give too many details um that yeah. promotes studios and corporations and stuff like that that are sitting by and doing nothing well i mean the the big genocide genocide that we uh talked about last week obviously is the one in palestine um but there's other genocides going on uh congo, congo there's one in no. south america it's almost like in every single one of those locations there's like a natural resource that uh <laughs> capitalism can exploit um that's yeah. fucking terrible oh <sighs> We're not going to be as political this week. We're not going to be as political this week. We're not going to be as political <laughs> this week. I mean, we're so all politics. That's uh, just, <laughs> that, I'm just kidding. That's just, uh, we, that's just how we are. I mean, you can yeah. cry about it if you want, or you could just not listen to our podcast if you don't like it. But Or you can uh, just like double tap the right side of the screen if you're on YouTube. <laughs> skip ahead like 15 seconds at a time until we get yeah. back to something that you care about. Because um, then that's... There, yeah, whatever. There are... That being said, we haven't done that in a while. Oh, no. There are some things that we're excited about that are coming out that we probably won't put any of our money into until there's a ceasefire. Um, but the Bad Boys 4 comes out this week on Thursday. And I'm like, I want to watch this so bad, but I won't. I won't. Yeah. <sighs> and things coming to to streaming I mean like the acolyte is coming to Disney Plus mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna hold off on watching and talking about it but that that hurts that's Star Wars like that's mm. that's how I became a nerd is Star Wars uh, um, a war amongst the stars if you will yeah. Oof. Um, <laughs> I see what you did there, though. Um, yeah, it, it sucks. Go on. Um, we did... We still use the internet, even as we're doing our silent protesting and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, so we saw that Deadpool and Wolverine, the, the popcorn bucket, was finally unveiled. It's very close to what people imagined. <laughs> yeah, instead of the whole of the popcorn bucket being at the bottom, so you could do like the whole hand in finding a sausage, um, it's just straight up. Uh, it's like hmm. it's Wolverine's mouth. It's a flashlight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but instead of silicone Fucking ribbing, hilarious. it's popcorn. but it's but it's deliberately done to make fun of Dune. Yeah, too. Is oh, one hundred percent. So they were like, oh, there was a lot of controversy over this. Let's just make this a straight-up sexual fucking thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> like even yeah. the the video that Ryan Reynolds put out <laughs> shows him like fondling the lips with his <laughs> finger and uh, uh, and then funny. drizzling the butter. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's ridiculous. One thing. Deadpool cannot be uh, said is avoiding is being meta. It's just oh, not meta like run by the lizard person with a weird beard. Um, oh, hi, Jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> Even her collar is the X-Men collar. So rad. Right. Nope, that wasn't an invitation to ruin the podcast. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sit with us. <laughs> oh, uh, she walked away. Oh, it's like she heard me. <laughs> uh. Well, let's see. What else is uh, the June? What else is coming out? This stuff. Yeah. It's bad because we sound so shitty right now because we're like not actively like. Whatever. I think we could keep, probably just move on. We're not actively news. trying to keep tabs or jotting down things that would normally excite us because we don't want to give too much a- attention to it. Who we are as as people, obviously we're going to notice these things, but we don't want to put... Uh, yeah. Show the bottom part. No masters. No gods, no masters. <sighs> I'm not yeah. satanic, even though this is a satanic symbol. I just believe in this more than... I adhere to the the principles of the satanic temple, but that's because the satanic temple is non-theistic, which means they don't believe in the devil. Exactly. They I don't did it worship as Satan, nor a, do I believe... No. They used that 100% as a marketing ploy to get attention, um, and by having a deity in their name, it was much easier to get the 5013 or C3 uh, tax exemption, uh, which is what most churches do. Anyways, um, I mean, they, they needed a lot of energy to, to be that smart. And if you want a lot of energy to be super smart, uh, you can always check out Ray's energy drinks. Uh, yeah, (laughs) Different kind of layup, bud. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, check out Ray's Energy Drinks. It's uh, zero calories, zero sugar, zero crash. Lots of uh, variety in their flavorings. And if you don't like energy drinks, they have a lot of other stuff to choose from, from supplements to protein-packed desserts and a lot of plant-based options, which is pretty cool. Uh, listen up, learn how to save 15%, and we'll be right back with you. We'll buddy you right back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I told you earlier, strong. We'll be back. Dun, 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 dun. We'll buddy you right back. Um, What's up, nerds? I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about Ray's Energy, an incredible energy drink that provides max energy with zero crash. Ray's Energy takes a giant leap of faith with instilling a high-quality formula to bring a powerful yet sustained energetic experience to help you push your workouts and focus to the next level. Perfect for anyone at any time and powered by their refresh formula technology, Ray's Energy delivers a performance-enhancing energy drink that aids in multiple different categories that include targeted focus, better recovery time, improved clean energy levels, and a boost in stamina and hydration. But most importantly, every can of Ray's Energy has absolutely zero calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates to give you a smarter and healthier option. So don't settle for an energy drink that contains more sugar and carbohydrates than you can count. Instead, head over to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and use the promo code Nerd podcast at checkout for 15% off your order. Or if you don't know what you want, go ahead and click the link that's in the description for, to get a $50 sample pack for free. All you do is you cover the cost of shipping. Again, make sure you use promo code NerdPodcast at checkout to let them know that we sent you. 
Okay, friends, we are going to talk about for the back half of this episode. Uh, we're going to talk about Boy Kills World. Um, spoiler alert before we get into it. Um, if you haven't seen it, check out, check back in. The only reason we're willing to talk about this is because we didn't pay to watch it. Um, we found workarounds. Yeah. It does not involve so, VPNs and illegal stuff, that's for sure. This is... Uh, Bill Skarsgård. Um, oh, I always... What's her name? Famke? Famke Jensen. Mm-hmm. Jansen, who played um, Jean Grey in the uh, Fox versions of... The original the X-Men. X-Men trilogy. Yeah. Fuck. My brain was, like, trying to catch up to my <laughs> mouth, and it was not <laughs> happening. <laughs> um, um, there, I mean, there's a handful of other people in it uh one yeah. person that i recognized um koji uh, yeah andrew koji for sure um who's just doing his best roy kent impersonation the entire yeah. time um for those that don't know what this i mean this movie is a fucking fever dream um, yeah, it was weird. It's weird Hunger Games. That's ask. what I got out of it. I literally said that to Nicole. I was like, it's kind of like Hunger Games if like, like what Hunger Games was. Capitalism still won at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, fuck me, dude. Yeah. But yeah. yes, go um, on. But one of the, the Vander Koy, uh, siblings, which is like the, rich oligarchies that run everything um, is played by Michelle Dockery. Uh, the reason that I recognize her is because I just recently watched The Gentleman, uh, the Guy Ritchie film. Uh, mm-hmm. And she reprises her role um, in The Gentleman, the TV series on Netflix. Oh, that's right. We had that entire conversation. Uh I think just last week. You know what, though? I'm you so know why mad. we shouldn't watch this movie, and now I'm kind of mad at myself? Is that fucking Brett Gilman. dude? Yeah. Yeah. His Zionism, his sexy bullshit. Yes. Just punch that Sup- motherfucker in his supporting, face. Supporting. Uh, I didn't even Noah think about shit. it till just this second. I was like, oh. As, fuck, we as you up. got mad, I was like, mm, I know where this is going. Yep. Because. God damn it. Now I don't even want to talk about this. I was like halfway through the movie, and I was like, that's the dude from Stranger Things. We shouldn't talk. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Yep. Uh, if you want to watch this movie, uh, find a way to <laughs> Sorry, steal I it. Just, no. It just popped in my head, and I was like, fuck. This is, this is a weird thing uh, for us. It's a weird time because we want to support weird, quirky, nerdy shit. Uh, but the world's on fire. Burning? Yeah. Uh, fuck Israel and fuck Israel supporters. And yeah, he's and, an Israel supporter and, fuck and he Zionism. fucking suck his own dick. And that's not anti-Semitic. Ask a lot of Jewish people. Yeah. Uh, because we love people for being people. We oh, love my people hands are for so skinny. being good people, but from the river to the sea. Yeah. Free Palestine. Throw up watermelons wherever you might be censored for using those same that same terminology. Bummer. Whatever. Yeah, that sucks. What um, should we talk? We could talk about something else for a minute. Um uh something that I mean just to kind of change the the top well, I don't know if I want to I don't know. <laughs> there, there are a lot of right awesome, like, all alternatives to supporting different different things out there. For example, I'm wearing a and D shirt. Um, I shouldn't be wearing this because it is Wizards of the Coast, uh, which is owned by Mattel. I apologize for that. I. I'm wearing it because it's nerdy and is for pride. I didn't think about that either. 
but I'm not going to take off my shirt on camera because no one wants to see that. Um, but for someone like myself, who is a big D and D fan, there are independent companies that are putting out their own game styles, rule books that is not supported by a corporation that backs genocide. Like, um, on your phone, uh, you can download an app. It's called no thanks, uh, which is awesome. It basically, you scan barcodes with it and it tells you if any of the companies tied to that, whether it's a parent company, a subsidiary, anything like that, uh, is supporting Israel. Uh, so you can make your informed decisions based on that. Well, I was going to say, we could talk about Thursday. Thursday? Thursday. The band? No, you dumb dumb. What's, what's... What are we doing on Thursday? This Thursday? This Thursday. Am I, am I dumb? I might be dumb. A little bit, yeah. A day to remember, my guy. Oh, yeah. Four years strong and the story so far. We're going to a big ass concert. Yeah. That's this Thursday. Oh goodness. <laughs> That's something we could talk about. Music. Maybe. That I was literally looking up uh to see if those people support or I, who we, they support we already with. we already bought the tickets. I don't want to know until afterwards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to uh big concert here in St. Cloud, Minnesota at the, is it the Ledge Amphitheater? Yeah, the Ledge. Technically Wait yeah. Park, but yeah, St. Cloud. Um, yeah. That'll be fun. Never been. I've never been there before. Neither have I. Where I live about a mile from it. Yeah, you live very close. And yeah. there's basically like only two story uh, tall like warehouses between where I live and where the amphitheater is. It doesn't look very big. I've driven past it, which is wild because it seems like this is going to be a pretty big concert, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. The the last time that I saw a day to re- uh, granted, the last time I saw uh, a day to remember was 14 <laughs> years ago. Uh, yeah. and I mean they played a hole in the wall place in St. Paul, Minnesota called station four, which no longer exists probably because of all the, uh, support beams that split the, the room in half. Um, and the last time I saw four years strong was at the triple rock. Uh, I have not in seen any of these bands live. So I am never seen the story. So super far. start. And that's who super I'm probably start. most excited to see. <laughs> yeah, a story so far. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a fun one. I I think I would I would say, out of the three, I'm probably most excited for Four Years Strong. I really they do. Sound I really, really good. I really I've like clung on to twice. their music recently, as you know. Yeah. Uh, I really like clung on to their music pretty, uh, pretty strongly lately. <laughs> uh, to so the I'm point really where you misheard some lyrics and then. Like, hung on to it. <laughs> and I didn't realize that you misheard the lyrics. So you're like, yo, this, like, speaks to me, like, because of, like, personal experiences. It's still, it still does like, speak to me. Hell yeah. It just, it, there's just one word that, that uh, didn't, um, <laughs> <laughs> embarrassingly uh, didn't make sense. But it does, Not, the, the, the lyrics of the song still make sense for that situation. It just... <laughs> Was one thing that yeah. Uh, there's a. I thought it was uh, hilarious because when you told me, I was like, "Oh, that's that's what you heard." I was like, "I didn't even make that connection. I just thought that like the the metaphor of the song and like the yeah. you know like motivation and vibe." And I was like, "Hell yeah, there's I a, totally get there's it." A, there's a lyric <laughs> in the song where it. it says, "At least what I thought it said originally was uh, he says." Uh, I'm in a coma, uh, and then the whole song is like talking about uh, 
crawling my way back, uh, uh, proving to you that I'm still alive. Uh, and the, and those lyrics like spoke to me because I was in a coma and, uh, I feel like I kind of crawled my way back to life. Uh, if I don't want to get into the, the bullshit that was inside my head while I was the, the actual fever dream, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was going on in my mind. Good use of that. Um, um, when I woke up, I feel like I, whatever. So this song, I was like, oh my God, this is like, this guy's talking about being in a coma and like talking about crawling his way back to life and like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is really cool. This really speaks to me. Uh, it wasn't until a couple months later that I uh, watched the lyric video on. <laughs> oh no, that's you, what did it. On YouTube. <laughs> and, oh no. And, he's, and he says, uh, I need the cold now, not I'm in a coma. <laughs> and I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, this just fun. lost so much. But then when I, now that I'm like looking, I, there was like an embarrassment moment with it. And I'm like, fuck, I'm an idiot. But looking back at it now, the lyrics do still speak to me. He just doesn't ever mention that he was in a coma. The rest of the lyrics just, still make sense. It's just m- much more metaphorical <laughs> instead of as literal as you thought it was. <laughs> yeah. McFly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah fucking dumbass i'm a dumbass but i'm i i'm i'm very excited that that's probably the band out of those three that we're gonna see on fucking thursday this thursday um and you could probably we'll probably post we could post some videos right yeah, we take some videos so. yeah we could post some videos of that concert in our time there especially some up on our buy me a cop <laughs> <laughs> no we'll we'll probably just throw up some videos on uh yeah. like our instagram instagram um, snapchat tiktok follow us on all that shit dude we'll yeah. we'll put po- we'll post videos of our time there there'll be some cool the, people that the we're podcast gonna doesn't meet have a there. snapchat but if you follow us personally um you can see those too sorry to cut yeah. you off Continue no you're fine that was that was done we're yeah. just gonna we're gonna see some cool people out there that we're meeting up with and uh, one of them's my future brother-in-law, and uh, we're gonna get really drunk, and then I'm gonna go to work on Friday and probably yeah. bang my head against the wall until uh, I get to go home. So I'm not. I, I work from home first off, but I was also like, I'm not gonna want to do anything that day. I'm taking PTO. <laughs> I unfortunately cannot. I'm just gonna have to tough it out. It'll be fine. Yeah. I'll be okay. That's it. That's all I got. That that kind of. Covered our spot rather I mean, than that, talking about that ate up a a good amount of time. Um, for our listeners, if you were like, "How are they gonna fill this space?" Uh, because they realized something that they didn't want to talk about was something that they planned on talking about. Um, but if you also like music, I don't know. Uh, in the comments, uh, tell us your favorite your favorite band, your favorite song. We, I mean, we love music. We're both musicians. Uh, Obviously, drums, piano, guitars, uh, in in Jake's there, uh, guitars, piano, <laughs> trumpet. Uh, for me, if, <laughs> show me some ska music. Also, if you're in Minnesota and you're you don't have to be from Minnesota, but if you're in Minnesota and you're going to that fucking concert, hit us up. We will fucking meet up with you and have a drink with you. We like taking shots, and we will take one with you. Let's fucking go. From the point in Logan. time when this <laughs> episode comes out to that show. Ah, fuck! They won't be able to. You only have about 24 <laughs> hours to do it. But get on that shit. Get on that shit. Especially if you get on that shit in those first 24 hours. That's how we know uh, you're a real one. You'd, I'll tell you what. You'd I'll MVP. tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you... Find us at that concert, and you listen to this podcast. I'll, I'll buy your shot, and we'll take it with you. Hell yeah! I have fucking promise you. It's like getting banana bread at work today, dude. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Whatever you're drinking, that's what we're drinking. We'll do a shot together. My treat. Let's fucking what if go. It's rumpies though. Uh, I stand by my word, but I will not be happy about it. <laughs> I said, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, I guess Jake speaks for us here. I'll do it. Yeah, that's fine. If you're going to be there, 
Let us know. Make my Friday fucking living hell at work. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's go out. <laughs> I don't work the next day. I live a mile away. I can stumble home. If I need a puke mid-walk, I can puke mid-walk. I think we'll drop, we'll drop you off. Oh, that's a... Let, then let's no, fucking go. <laughs> let's fucking go. Yeah. This will be fun. Uh, I'm curious if anybody will uh, find us. If and if you can't find us, just reach out to us on social media and we'll find you. We'll get in contact with you and be like, where you at? My brother or sister. Or In, in science? Yeah. What a yeah, uh, right. it should be a good. I'm done talking. I'm making an ass out of myself. Well, but now yeah, let's well... really close out this episode. Uh, <laughs> I was just trying to eat up as much time as possible because we no, were looking to be about a half hour shorter than normal. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's close out the episode. All right, before we close out this episode, we are going to talk about our honorable mentions. Chad, what do you got? Uh, the... That's great, Chad. I had. Uh... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> go ahead, do what. Do, no, 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 I'm do kidding. What you I'm had. kidding. I'm kidding. Go, go, go. No, go, go. no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I didn't really watch a whole lot. Uh, I've been rewatching Smallville. Uh, just when I want something in the background and I'm not feeling the the vibe of music. Um, and then I've been watching uh, Dimension Twenties, uh, Fantasy High, sophomore year. D and D uh, live play from Dropout TV. Go yes. check them out; it's pretty sweet. And they hate capitalism as much as we do. Yay! What about you? What have you been watching? <laughs> uh, well, I finished um, Under the Bridge on Hulu. Uh, really good, really sad, um, really punchable teenagers. Yeah. Uh, go, go check that show out; it's it's pretty fun. Um, and then we continue. We started continuing our watch of uh, the Dead Boy Detectives on Netflix. Um, that show is super fun and loosely ties into um, Sandman, also on Netflix, which is pretty fucking rad. Uh, but the the show is pretty cool. It's fun, cheeky. Uh, Heck yeah. They're dead. They're boys. They're detectives. It's fun. <laughs> what? It's it's all in the name. <laughs> Weird. Uh, we really didn't watch it on this week. We've been unpacking and uh, stuff like that, so we haven't been as active. But go check those things out from Chad and myself if you want. You know, whatever. Yeah, and I mean, we've kind of touched base on a a handful of things like liking following subscribing uh, all that stuff for all of our social medias and wherever you get your podcasts especially if you are in the minnesota area and might happen to be going to a concert in central minnesota uh st cloud ish area um also if you have any digital marketing web design or just marketing strategy needs uh, or just a little bit of guidance on whatever you're working on, reach out to Marty at Digicat Tech. Uh, he's a wizard. He's been helping us a bunch. Um, I mentioned Dimension 20 because I'm a huge uh, D&D fan, a storytelling uh, lover, uh, things like that. So check out our, if you are like that, check out our other podcast, which is Cobalt's in the Basement Podcast. It's a D&D live play podcast. Um and if you want to be super awesome, give us your money uh, and become a premium subscriber over at buymeacoffee.com slash allthingsnerd. Hell yeah. We at, did it. At the end of the day, we just appreciate that you're here listening. We love you. Uh, and this has been the All Things Nerd Podcast. <laughs>